Florida's governor, Rick Scott, he's pulling a Rick Perry. He's saying, come on down to Florida, build your business here, low tax, regu no regulation, or less regulation, and business friendly. Maybe working. Ed Pizzulli is here. He's brought with him some examples of big name businesses that have indeed moved to Florida. And you've been working, I believe, with the governor on bringing them down. Your first example is Hertz. What did you do to get them to move to Florida? Hey, you know, we just offered some sun and fun and uh, a great tax and regulatory environment, as well as a quality educated workforce. Those are the three things that uh, drive business to Florida. Basically, a one-way ticket to Florida. Uh, we're open for business here in the Sunshine State. But you didn't give them something special, like a special tax break or their own freeway to get to their headquarters. Nothing like that. It was just the attraction of Florida overall? We reduced uh, their income tax, uh, personal income tax, as you know, for everybody is zero, so we cut that in half, Stuart. Okay, next From to zero uh, to zero. You, you also brought in a company called Garda World. You brought them down to Florida. I'm not familiar with the company. Tell me about it. Well, they're going to bring uh, a total of about 700 employees over time. I mean, essentially what they are is high-paying jobs, Again, uh, in, the, in the somewhere between the seventy to eighty thousand dollar range on the average, uh, they're going to go in uh, Southwest Florida. But look, from a tax standpoint and a regulatory standpoint, whether you're Hertz or Garter World or LeBron James, for instance, Florida remains attractive uh, because of its tax and regulatory environment here. Uh, lastly, you know, education-wise, you had a long uh, some ten years ago. Uh, Governor Bush made a real effort to put real resources into K-12 education. What we've seen is dramatic educational results, uh, parents op uh, given the opportunity of choice. So as an example, uh, Florida now has two of the largest uh, education management companies in the country, one even in Fort Lauderdale, Charter School USA, that employs some 3,500 teachers and administrators just here in Florida. All right, so you're here to tell us that it's working, because a lot of states are doing this. Low tax, business friendly, ease up on the regulation, come on down. And you're telling us that Florida is one of the clear winners in this. Ten seconds, go. Well, big, big winner. In fact, today, uh, uh, Governor Scott is in France touting the aerospace and avi aviation industries of Florida. This is a constant drumbeat, and I think that Florida offers not just sun and fun, but the right business opportunities for businesses to come basically on a one-way ticket to Florida and relocate here. All right. Thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Um, clear success there. We like that here. That. Thank